ChatGPT might replace your job. Let's take a look at one of the latest new features that have been added to ChatGPT OpenAI, and that is called the Code Interpreter. So if you go over and hover over, this is currently right now to my knowledge, four plus members, and basically this option, Code Interpreter, is going to change the future of programming and the use of AI when it comes to coding. What exactly do I mean? Well, let me first show you how to even get this onto your ChatGPT dashboard, and then I can show you some of the insane features that the code interpreter can do. So first thing is you need to navigate to the bottom left of the screen where you should see your username or email and click on these three little dots and have the settings option right here. Go over to beta features and simply have code interpreter clicked on. And now we can get started with the fun parts. Now, from my understanding, the code interpreter uses Python and I have tested it with some front end coding languages as well, but for the most parts, let's go ahead and just test this out. And the first thing that we're gonna do is analyze some data. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload a data file really quick. And this is some just simple data file with people's names from around the country. So here I have the file right there. And now I'm going to tell ChatGPT to analyze this data. And let's go ahead and hit enter and see what it does. And now let's go ahead and see, it's going to say first, they're gonna to need to unzip the file to see what's inside. So now we can see that is currently in action. And I'll show you where you can get data that you can go ahead and actually experiment with this as well if you've never done this before. And it looks like it's showcasing the file names underscore population CSV. And like I mentioned earlier, this is essentially a data set that just basically showcases people's names and essentially from my understanding, the frequency of each set name. And this is literally Analyzing this as we speak tells us 1,002 names are in this data set. And for people who don't even code or like, what is this? This is lame, this is boring. Basically, well, looks like I have a network error, not too fun, but let's try to go ahead and regenerate this response and see if the code interpreter doesn't crash on me this time. But what I was trying to say is, imagine you have large amounts of data and you just don't wanna go through it or you want to organize in a particular way, guess what? You can probably ask ChatGPT Code Interpreter to do some of those things. And again, this is still early stages, so it's not super, super insane in terms of what is possible, but for re at least right now, the ability for it to just read the data of this file and tell me exactly what's inside of it, that's already quite insane to see. And now let's just go ahead and let this finish up. And then from there, I will show you where you can get this data and other different types of anything you really wanted to, at least on this particular site. And then you can go play around with this particular example. So the response has finally finished. And before I showcase the results, let me just show you the actual site where I got this data. So this makes a little bit better sense. So here's the website, it's called Kaggle. And essentially you can look and find all different types of data and simply you can download the files and then look at it from there. So now let's go back to the response. Essentially what I did is I took the file, didn't really read into the actual data. I just simply looked on the overview and it mentioned that it's talking about names and frequency. And then I added to ChatGPT, which we saw live and it came out and literally have this full report showcasing everything that it got from this file and made it showcase the essential results of what the actual data is supposed to do, which in return showcased the most common names. So basically what I like here is it shows exactly what it's doing. And then we saw here, we can see the data sets. It continues to work. It says there's some issues with some of the data in here. And then what it actually does is it fixes it, at least from what it mentions here. And take a look at this. We have this graph, incidence and frequency. And now it's showcasing some numbers. 
And at this point, I'm not really familiar with what this is really saying until we go down here. And what it says showcases data types are not correct, incidence and frequency. It says here they range from values of this number up to basically 61 plus million. More details here and look at this result. The top 10 most common names based again off this data, this might be inaccurate, might not. Maria, Nushi, Mohammed, Jose, Muhammad again. Mohammed, Muhammad, Muhammad, Wei, Muhammad, another time. I guess that's a different spelling with the AD, Ahmed and Yan. So apparently based off this data set, there are people with literally very similar names, different spelling. And then this is based off of here. And then it showcases a more details against what it did and some essential pros and cons and not too focusing too much on this particular file but basically what it did is read through it get the data and push out a result now if i wanted to go ahead and ask it for even more details on this i could but for the sake of moving forward let's look at some other cool features that we can do with the code interpreter so here's another cool thing i saw that you can do is creates a QR code, QR code that I can scan that enables me to see the results of this data. Now, let's see if code interpreter GPT can do this. So as of right now, it looks like it cannot do at least something this complicated. Maybe I have to reword and essentially change this up. And let's just do this. Create a QR code that links to the OpenAI website. This might be something more simple where it literally is just a link, which it seems from this description it can do. And boom, take a look at this. We have a QR code and what I'm going to do right now is test this out before anyone sees this and look at this open AI as I'm using my phone, it opens it up to openai.com. Now this is actually pretty cool. Now I don't know if this can work exactly with the normal chat GPT. Definitely let me in the comments below if it's something you can do already, but if it can't and it only can do a code interpreter. Be sure to comment that down below so we can confirm because now I can see this being used for a lot of crazy stuff. Telling people to add you on social media, adding you on whatever, even if you have a business, a restaurant with a website online, that could be even crazier too. And what's even cooler is I did add this on the bottom of here, but we could say stuff like turning this data into different files like a PDF, whatever you want to do. And let's go ahead and test out some other additional features with this code interpreter. So here's another cool thing you can do with this code interpreter. I have added this image, which I have created from mid journey. And essentially I'm going to tell it to get the colors from the image and turn it into a color palette. So create a color palette with this image. Let me, fix this right here spelling and let us press enter and let's see the magic of gpt cope interpreter so here it got this image and the first response it just got all black and it says not correct so it created another color palette now from at least right now this is quite close but it's not perfect let me show you actual image this way you can see the reference to see why this isn't exactly what i wanted so here is the actual image just some futuristic robot character and as you can see it did some of the backgrounds the whites and the grays but the eyes the neon colors it looks like it was missing those but i think obviously with the limited choices of colors it picked pretty much what it saw majority of but still that's pretty insane already. So again, you can get fancy with this, test this out. But what's even cooler and things I've seen people say you could do is turn edits, essentially create videos which had GPT's code interpreter. So let's go ahead and try that out ourselves. And let's say, turn this image into a GIF with a epic edit effect. And let's press enter 
And let's see if this is even possible. So here it says that it's essentially difficult, but basically it's going to do it in multiple steps, which I truly, this is really interesting to see. So let's go ahead and see what it results with. So it says that it has it on this link. So let's go moment of truth. Let me download this file. So here it actually showcased the image again. And what it did is showcased five different images. So it's not essentially like a video style, but ideally gives, if I were to add this maybe into a uh, different video editor or something, I could probably see a cool effect. But you can see it's kind of like a little stop motion. If I were to play this, you can see each image changing up in there. And again, this is just the beginning. These are just some cool little fun things you can do with the code interpreter. And this is just testing the water. This is even showing some of the crazier things that are more complex that you can do with lots of crazier, more interesting code data sets. But for now, these are just some quick fun things to do and just showcasing the effects with the code interpreter. So if you wanna see more videos like this, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe.